Well done, Sharon. Clearly that challenge is harder than it looks. And 10 seconds is a good target for someone to try to beat next time. So now it's our prayer time. And today I'm going to do this slightly differently. I'm going to ask a couple of questions and allow a few moments for you to think about your response and to pray silently if you have the space to do so. Um, if not, you can take this with you later today or into the week. And the questions are, where am I on my faith journey, my relationship with Jesus? Do I believe? What are the barriers? So take a moment to consider this and I'll end with a prayer. Where am I on my faith journey? My relationship with Jesus. Do I believe? And what are the barriers? Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus into this world so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Help us to believe. Fill us afresh each day with your life-giving spirit. Lord Jesus, I believe. I believe you are the bread of life. Thank you that through you I have eternal life, not just when my life on earth ends, but that I can be in your kingdom now and experience life in its fullness. Amen. You may want to find a moment later today or sometime this week to continue to develop that train of thought and to pray further about it. And don't hesitate to talk through with someone on the breakfast team if you wish, if you have questions um, or want to discuss things further. You could even look at this as you make some bread later in the week. So here are two conversation starters to help develop this theme. Firstly, what are the things that make it hard for people to believe? And secondly, we eat bread to survive and we believe in Jesus, the bread of life, to thrive, to live life in its fullness as God intended. What does thriving look like for you? Well, that's the end of our service today. And next week we meet in the church centre for breakfast at nine. And we're online again in two weeks time. Have a great week ahead. God bless.